Now that we've refreshed the basics of graphing, we need to move on to what it means to graph systems of equations and finding the solution. Now, a solution to a system is really the one point that is going to make both equations true. And three different things can happen. You can have one solution. The lines are going to intersect in one point. You can have no solutions, which means your lines are parallel and they'll never intersect. Or infinite solutions, meaning that when you actually get down to graphing it, they're the exact same line. Now, we go ahead and we graph these as normal. My y-intercept is positive 2. My slope is down 1, right 1, 2, 3, 4. So my line cuts through like this. This line has a y-intercept of negative 1. It has a slope of negative 1 over 1. So I'm going to go up 1, left 1, up 1. And it cuts through like this. If I go back and extend my blue line up one, left one, three, four, a little straighter here, you can see that they intersect right here. And that is my solution. My solution to this system is negative four, positive three. That is the one x, y coordinate that if I put it into both of these equations, will make them both true. Now this equation over here, I first have to get them into slope-intercept form. So negative 2y is equal to negative x plus 2 divided by negative 2. y is positive 1 half x plus negative 1. And my other equation, negative 2y is equal to negative x plus 8. Divide by negative 2, y is equal to 1 half x, negative 2 divided by 8 plus negative 4. So I'm going to start with this one because I have my blue pen. Negative 4, up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2. My line goes through like this. Back to my black pen, y-intercept of negative 1, up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2. And before I even graph, I should recognize that these lines are going to be parallel because their slopes are the same. And so this means there is no solution. There's no place that those two lines are going to intersect. Now, if we go to t solving inequalities, we're going to be talking about a shaded region where both of them are true. So any point picked in the shaded overlapping region, so that's another way to talk about it, is the overlap, will make them true. So you can have one of those shaded reason, regions. You could have parallel lines that never intersect shaded regions. Or we could end up covering the entire graph, which means all real numbers. Kind of a rare case, but it can happen. So we need to graph each of these separately and then look for the overlapping area. So y-intercept is 2, slope of down 1, right 1 up one, left one, greater than or equal to, so this is a solid line. Now I'm in a test with zero, zero, so is zero greater than or equal to negative zero plus two? Is zero greater than or equal to two? Well, that is false, so I shade opposite side because that point of zero zero made it false. I'll do this one in red. So my y-intercept is negative three. 
I have that same up one, left one, down one, right one parallel lines because their slope less than or equal to is a solid line again. Now I'm going to test is 0 less than or equal to negative 0 minus 3 is 0 less than negative 3 and that is false so I shade away from 0 0 and this ends up being no solution because there is no overlapping area. Now let's look at this example. Positive 3, slope of up 1, right 2, down 1, left 2, less than, so I have a dashed line. I'm going to test is 0 less than 1 half times 0 plus 3. Is 0 less than 3? That's true. So I shade this side because it includes my region. Now we're going to graph this one. I have positive or a negative 1. Negative 3 halves, so down 1, 2, 3, right 2, or I could go up 1, 2, 3, right 2. This is greater than or equal to, and so I'm going to have a solid line. that comes down like so. So now I need to test. So is 0 greater than or equal to negative 3 halves times 0 minus 1? Is 0 greater than or equal to minus 1? Well that is true. So I shade the side that includes now, if you just left your picture like this, I wouldn't know for sure that you understand what your solution is. So you should either come back with a darker colored pen or very heavily emphasized dashed at the top, solid at the bottom in this region right here is your solution region and your picture is your answer. Let's look at a couple more examples. Now these examples are not solved for y, so we have to get them into that slope-intercept form. So let's make this first one blue. So we're going to have y is greater than negative 5x plus 3. So I go to positive 3, I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1. This is a dashed line because it's just greater than. If I test and I go to my original, 5 times 0 plus 0, is that greater than 3? Is 0 greater than 3? That's false. So I shade the opposite side of 0, 0. I grab a different color. So this will be y is greater than negative x plus negative 1. Graph negative 1. Here I go down 1, right 1, up 1, <laughs> left 1. I have another dashed line. If I test my original, is 0 plus 0 greater than negative 1? Is 0 greater than negative 1? That's true. So I shade the side that includes 0, 0. And now any place that these overlap, dash, 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 down to this point, dash out on this line, and this region right in here is your solution region. Now let's go ahead and look at our last example. Let's solve this for y. Be careful with your negatives. 
So I have negative 3y greater than or equal to negative x minus 6. Let's make that plus a negative 6. I'm going to divide by negative 3, which means I need to pay attention to that negative. So I'm going to have y is less than or equal to negative 1 over negative 3x plus negative 6 over negative 3. And y is less than or equal to 1 third x plus 2. Graph the 2, up 1, right 3. I could go down 1, left 3, greater than or equal to gives me a solid line. Go ahead and do my test point is 0 minus 3 times 0 greater than or equal to negative 6. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 6? Well, that is true. So I shade the side that includes the point that makes it true. Go ahead and use red. For this one, I'm going to have y is greater than negative x plus negative 2. Negative 2. I go up 1, left 1, down 1, right one. It's greater than, so it's a dashed line this time. Do our test plant with is 0 plus 0. Is that greater than negative 2? Is 0 greater than negative 2? That's true. So I'm going to shade the side that includes 0, 0. Go back in with my darker color. I have a solid boundary line here. I have the dashed boundary here. And this region right here is where they overlap. And so that is all there is to graphing systems of equations and inequalities.